In the past, Hardline has been an extremely useful perk in Call of Duty. It used to either reduce the number of kills you needed to earn your kill streaks by one, or it gave you additional score for your kill streaks so they were easier to earn. But that's not the case anymore. In Infinite Warfare, Hardline has been significantly nerfed. So the way it works now is, for each kill or every two assists you get, you get 25 additional points, but that only works for the first eight uses of this perk. So for example, if you get eight kills and then get the additional 25 points eight times, or the equivalent would be 200 points, or if you get 16 assists, and because it works every two assists, you get those additional 25 points eight times, again 200 points, after that it doesn't work anymore. So you can see why I say this is a pretty significant nerf, because in the past it used to work all the time for each kill or for each assist, and if you went on a long streak you could really get a lot out of it, and now if you're playing a game mode where each kill gets you 100 points, after the first 8 kills it really doesn't do anything for you. Another thing that's interesting about Hardline is, it gives you a consistent 25 points regardless of the game mode. So if you're playing something like Domination for example, where each kill only gets you 75 points, this still does give you the additional 25 points. But if you're playing something like Frontline where a normal kill outside of the two spawn zones gives you 125 points, this still gives you the additional 25 to make it 150. So if you're playing Domination, you're technically getting more out of Hardline than if you're playing something like Frontline because 25 points per kill is relatively more in Domination than it is in Frontline. So again, like I said before, it stops working after the first 8 kills you get or the first 16 assists you get, and again, whatever combination comes first. So the maximum point value you can get out of Hardline is 200 points. So there's two ways to look at it. If you're going for low streaks or you're someone who doesn't go on a lot of big kill streaks, then the Hardline is still useful for you, especially if you play a game mode like Domination where the kills don't give you as many points as they do in something like Frontline. So in that kind of scenario where you're going for low streaks or you don't get on big streaks and you're playing Domination, then Hardline might be useful for you. But if you're playing a game mode like Frontline where you get a lot of points per kill anyway, Hardline doesn't really give you that many additional points. And additionally, if you are someone that's trying to go on big streaks, this will help you get to your first set of streaks earlier. Because let's say you get a maximum of 200 points out of that, that'll help you get a kill streak earlier. Let's say an advanced UAV, which is 1250 points, you subtract 200 out of it, now you only have to get 1050 points to get the advanced UAV. So it helps you get that first one. But let's say the advanced UAV is my last kill streak. After it starts looping around, the advanced UAV will start costing me another 1250 again because Hardline has stopped working. So if you're someone that's trying to go on long streaks or loop your kill streaks and stay alive for a long time, Hardline isn't really as useful for you. Especially again if you're playing a game mode like Frontline where you get tons of points per kill anyway and the Hardline points are more insignificant. So a quick summary, if you're someone who's going for low streaks playing a game mode where you don't get as many points per kill, then you definitely want to use Hardline. If you're someone that's trying to go on long streaks and is trying to loop your streaks or is trying to play a game mode that gives you a lot of points per kill, then Hardline probably isn't as useful for you, and you could try to use that slot for something else like Scavenger, Tracker, Cold-Blooded, those perks will all probably give you more benefit than Hardline will in the long run. The only argument for using Hardline, if you're someone going on long streaks, is it helps you get to your first set of streaks earlier, which can start helping you loop through like helping you get your first advanced UAV earlier, because it's an advanced UAV it's going to help you get more kills, getting it earlier will help you get more advanced UAVs and thus help you start your loop earlier. So that's it for this video guys, just a quick talk about how Hardline's been significantly nerfed, when it's useful for you to use and when it's not useful for you to use, and whether or not you should still be using it. And leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this. So if you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button for me, and if you guys are new around here, subscribe for more Infinite Warfare videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.